Halo Lore fans, what is up and welcome back. So, I had a busy day today and couldn't start the new Alpha Pack event until much later this evening. And all day I kept seeing online that it wasn't that good of a narrative event, and so a little disappointed, I hopped on to play through it and check it out for myself. And at the end of it all, yeah, it wasn't a long narrative cinematic experience, but I really enjoyed it. And I want to tell you why. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. The new event starts with Eklund giving us one last challenge before entering the esteemed pack of the Lone Wolves. But things start to get really cool when you finally complete all of your challenges and get into the cinematic outro. When Eklund started talking about fighting outside the safe walls of the Avery J. Johnson Academy and without resupply or reinforcements, it really hit me for what it meant to be a lone wolf in this world. And that is when things got really cool for me, because she started talking about her gear and how it wasn't standard issue but it was a history, a collection of hard choices as she expressed it. Each time an armor piece broke, part of her history and all of her operations started decorating her armor to who she is now. Some of that armor includes specialized gloves to mitigate against flood infiltration, which meant she might have been part of a flood containment Spartan fire team. She has Sankili tech in her helmet, built-in anti-created software in her chest piece, and even banished armor pieces that Atriox himself designed after studying the UNSC. And that's just her history. She even admitted that one day she'll fall and someone may pick up her pieces to update or upgrade their armor, and in that way she will be part of someone else's history. Because of her speech, I started looking at my own Spartan, and when it comes to my personal Rakshasa armor core, its armor coating is made of popular colors from Venesia, one of my favorite places in the Halo universe. A helmet field tested by the legendary Spartan Fred himself, a chest plate and shoulder pad that were taken from fallen banished soldiers, my Sangili skull, which came from a practice my Spartan adopted from the Sangili, is from an elite warrior who couldn't let go of the old ways of the Covenant. My wrist guard helps keep my Spartan resilient against created monitoring and intrusion, while the armor effect over the wrist pad demonstrates that my Spartan helped catch the first banished AI in history. And lastly, for my utility item, it's a med kit with enough supplies to keep a small army alive, and it's kept myself alive many a times while playing Halo CE. So my whole armor kit is a relic to a lot of really awesome things that I'll think about while playing Halo Infinite's multiplayer. And then at the end of the outro, Eklund said we were accepted into the Wolfpack, and if you completed all the challenges, your multiplayer Spartan fits into the history of the Halo universe in a really cool way. What you wear with your Rakshasa armor is gleaming with history, so however you decided to kit up your Spartan, go look at the individual pieces of the Rakshasa armor core, like Eklund said, and see what history your pieces tell when you put them all together. Because these pieces tell an awesome story, and some of them date back to surplus items found from the Colonial Military Authority from the 2300s in Halo lore. That's 200 plus years ago, and that archaic tech is now being used to combat elements of the created, hinting that the fight is still ongoing with them and maybe our narrative Spartan will be a part of it one day. To me, that's awesome. And until next time, find joy in the great journey.